Welcome to Science by PK. This is the channel where we make science fun, simple, and exciting. Have you ever wondered if we're alone in the universe or if someone or something is out there trying to talk to us? Today, we're diving into one of the biggest mysteries ever, alien life and extraterrestrial signals. Could life exist beyond Earth? Are aliens listening us to us right now? Let's explore what we know and what we're still searching for. What makes this topic so exciting? Space is huge, so huge it's hard to even imagine. Scientists think there are two trillion galaxies and each one could have billions of planets. Now that's more planets than all the grains of sand on every beach on Earth. Now imagine this, if every one grain of sand has life, there could be more, or are we the only ones here? In 1960, a scientist named Frank Drake asked the same question. He made something called the Drake Equation to guess how many alien civilizations might be out there. The answer depends on the numbers you plug in, but most guesses say there could be thousands or maybe even a million planets without li with life and some might be advanced enough to send and detect signals. That's where SETI comes in, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The SETI is like a giant radio ear pointed at space, listening for signals that don't seem natural. Imagine flipping through a radio station hoping to find alien music or maybe even a hello from the stars. In 1977, something amazing happened. A telescope in Ohio picked up a 72 second signal that was so weird the scientist who saw it wrote wow on the data and now it's called the wow signal was it aliens we don't know for sure because the signal never came back and no one has been able to figure it it's like getting a text message from an unknown number but they ghost you forever more recently scientists have found in fast radio bursts short flashes of energy from deep space some of these repeat which make us wonder are they signals or are they just natural events? We don't understand. It's like hearing a knock on the door but opening it and no one's there. Creepy, right? What about alien life? What would it look like? Most of us picture green creatures with big eyes, but aliens might look nothing like that. They could be tiny microbes, floating jellyfish-like creatures, or even machines built by advanced civilizations, like robots that never need sleep or food. Imagine aliens as super smart Roombas exploring the universe without needing to charge up. Scientists think there also could be alien life closer to home. Mars, for example, has frozen water and signs of ancient rivers. What if tiny microbes are still hiding underground? Then there's Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, which has the ocean beneath its ice. Imagine alien-like squids swimming down there just waiting for us to discover them. And don't forget, humans have already tried to say hello to aliens in the 1970s. We sent Voyager 1 and 2 into deep space. Each one carries a golden record with sounds of Earth like bird songs, waves, and even greetings in 55 different languages. It's like sending a cosmic mixtape and hoping somebody finds it. Imagine an alien DJ listening to a record and thinking, Earthlings are weird, but they got good music. We've also been sending TV and radio signals to space for over 100 years. So if aliens ever watch our TV, they might think we're obsessed with reality shows, cooking competitions, and you anchors yelling at each other. Let's hope they don't judge us too harshly. Wait a second, don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment on what topics we should you want us to explore next. Without further ado, let's get back into the video. Back to the search. Scientists aren't just listening for signals, they're also looking for planets where life might exist. Telescopes like the James Webb Telescope are fast, di are studying fast uh, different planets and check for water, oxygen, and other signals of life. Some planets even sit on Goldilocks zone, meaning they're not too hot and not too cold, just the right temperature for life to exist. But here's the big question. What happens if we find aliens? How do we talk to them? Scientists are already working on messages using maps 
math and patterns. Since numbers might be a universal language, or maybe aliens already know about us and they're just waiting for the right moment to say hi. After all, we've been broadcasting signals into space for years. Imagine aliens turning us into old stytums trying to figure out why humans are so obsessed with coffee shops and romantic drama. And what if aliens are so different that we can't even recognize them? What if they're made of energy or live in dimensions we can't even see? Maybe they're watching us right now when we don't even know, like a goldfish in a bowl. It doesn't realize people are watching it from outside. Right now, the search for alien life is still every planet and every experiment brings us closer to the answer. Will we find bacteria on Mars, creatures on Europe's oceans, or maybe even message from alien civilizations? One thing is for sure, we won't stop looking. Thank you for joining us on Science by PK. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another exciting story. Stay curious, stay hungry for knowledge, and keep looking at the stars. We'll see you in the next one.